banks, governments, and corporations are awakening the fact that Bitcoin is superior to all other financial assets. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy. I'm in the pipe 5x5, five five, staying live here in Dubai. I hope you're doing well. And yeah, we've got some good news for all you Bitcoin holders. In fact, if you understand what Bitcoin is, you are currently, you know, making money wherever else you can. You can be at a job, you can do it with other cryptocurrencies, you could trade, do whatever, but you're saving in Bitcoin. And if you're doing that, you know what all these people and the government and the higher ups are starting to just just understand. We're going to talk about that in today's episode and also doing some trading and showing you the charts at the end of the show. So make sure you watch all the way to the end. You hit the like, you hit the subscribe button. Let's get to it. Okay. Guys, if you want to join my private group, which yeah, you could just do that for free for one month. You sign up to two bit and you deposit hundred dollars and you gain access to it. Also, if you trade some waffles coins, right? You could also be a winner, you know, some, some free waffles prizes up to we're going to be giving away $5,000 worth of waffles coins, right? So yeah, check that out in the description below links are in the description below. I've recently set up waffle sign. This is just 1.0 of waffle sign. Basically you can connect your wallet, whether it's a MetaMask wallet or oof, look at that Solana connect Solana wallet. Okay. Burn wallet. Okay. Well, if you connect your, you can connect any kind of wallet you want. And then, um, once you do, you just type in a message, right? Hit sign. And there it is. Your message is signed. And then you can use that message, right? Copy to post on X, right? Or if you want, you can verify that message right here. There you go. There it is. All right. Still in beta, still try testing this thing out. We'll have this thing ready and have different features for you guys later on. So yeah, looks like waffles is about to pop once again, people, the, the, the people who have bought down here, which I am telling you sell at three, three cents, right? You did your job, right? All those, the, those people sold half on three cents. Good. Good for you. Right now we're just building up the base, right? Slowly. We're not just going straight rocket ship up. This is good. And now we're going to get some new users and it's, you know, you sell half, but you know, six cents, right? You buy here, but sell half at six cents and let the rest ride all the way to a billion dollar market cap. That's how you get it done. Okay. FBI warns of a rising government impersonation scams demanding crypto. Okay. So the, the federal bureau of Investi investigation, Portland division warned the public this week about a, a surge in scammers impersonating FBI agents and other government officials demanding cash, gold, and cryptocurrency for payments. Okay. They're probably asking you for Bitcoin <laughs> because Bitcoin is, you know, the real solid money. It's this is faster for them to, to, to send it to you than gold or cash. <laughs> so I don't think that's happening. These two are happening. This is happening because they're going to, they're, they're going to be on phones or email and then you're not going to be able to send cash and gold through an email. Just say, <laughs> so with that said, right, you know, just in China, the biggest bank in the world with 6.2 trillion in the in industrial and commercial bank of China says Bitcoin is greater than gold and greater gold is greater than USD. The IC, ICBC has written three notes to investors about Bitcoin in three months. Some highlights. Bitcoin has unique cross-border transfer payment functions. Duh. <laughs> Where have you been? Bitcoin may benefit from the end of the US rate cycle and debt crisis in marginal countries. Hmm. Did you just write this? <laughs> uh, you just, you just, you're just figuring that out now. Okay. That means people could actually use Bitcoin 
instead of USD and be able to send money back and forth to anywhere in the world? Jesus. Yeah, I've known that since 2011. Bitcoin retains scarcity similar to gold through mathematical consensus while solving its problem its problem of being difficult to divide, difficult to identify, authenticity, and inconvenient to carry. Hmm. So Bitcoin solves a lot of problems in the past that was plaguing other types of money. Yeah, I think I talked about that before. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> Bank of China is now figuring that out. Hopefully you do that too and do the right thing and save your wealth in Bitcoin and forget about it. Don't, don't even link, think about a price of it, like the, the half a million dollar price in the title. That's, that's what's going to happen when these guys go, bye. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to be giving away almost $10,000 in Waffles coins to Dabby Tar holder. So if you're not a Dabby Tar holder, right, you, you better be one. And I'm going to be the, the, the rules of how you're going to get that 9,150 waffles coins when we get to a billion dollar market cap, right? That's when you'll get those, those waffles coins. It will be placed in the, the description of this video. And yeah, so make sure you own a Dabby Tar today, right? And then register it, right? to join my private group as well. Okay, let's get on to the, to the TA for today and close off to the, today. You can see that Bitcoin, I think it pretty much broke, yes, that this key level here. And once it did that, even though it, it usually, it should, it, this is gonna be a breakdown, it always bounces off these key levels that it's a, the breakdown levels. And you see that we, we're still, we still have more downside to go on the technicals here, the lower technicals such as the, the MACD and the RSI. So this was just a, a dead cap bounce. So yeah, it looks like we're going to roll over and we're headed a lot lower. So I would say we can see price action if we break here, maybe to the, the 63,000 ish area. Let's just see, because we did a double top. So I think we can pretty much say, um, okay, so from here to here, move this down here so we can go as low as, right? As, way down here with this uh, even further on the $60,000 level. So it's unfortunate if we break down that way, but if we can bounce anywhere from, you know, 61, 1.618, 1. that would be decent. A, a nice bounce here would be nice, but I don't think we're going to get that. I think this is just a dead cap bounce and we're probably going to roll over and head back down. Let's just take a look at Ethereum to close off the day. Yeah, exactly. Ethereum is in no man's land. It has broken this level here, this wick. It, it went to see it and yeah, broken it. So we can pretty much say, you know, the 3200 to the 3100 is the target for Ethereum, unfortunately. All right. Well, with that said, thank you all for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.